morning everyone today we are going to learn an interesting topic in maths about numbers place values and comparison between the numbers before that i'll write and i'll show you 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we will learn only till 9 one before there is one more number called 0 0 means what 0 means 0 means what nothing there is nothing 0 means nothing but we have a number for uh, for nothing that is called 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay and these all we will called as digit what we will called a digit a particular name digit so the digits are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 from 0 to 9 we will called as digits after 9 which numbers we are writing that numbers only we will called as numbers or two digits okay after 9 you all aware no what is that number 10 how the 10 will form if you come again from 0 Zero after one. So after nine, again we are writing the first number one, and one before what is the number zero. So we will write with ten. What is this called? Ten. Before that, we will learn names of these numbers. Names of these numbers. This is called. Zero, Z E R O, zero. We will call it as zero. This is O N E one, T W O two, T H R E E three, F O U R four, F I V E five. S I X six, S E V E N seven, E I G H T eight, N I N E nine. The two digit one we named it as ten, T E N ten. For what all these numbers and digits we will use? We will use for counting. See, I will show you something. What are these? These are balls, right? Seeing this, we can tell these are balls. But we can use that numbers. We can use these numbers and we can count. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. So how many balls we are having? Do we have ten balls? See, one, two, three, four. What I am doing here? Counting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nine and. Ten. So how many balls do you all we have? Ten. Now, after this, everyone see here. What are these? These are two objects, no, in front of us. If you observe these objects properly, we can say clearly that this object is fat and this object is. Thin. Next, if you see these objects, we can say that clearly it is big and it is small. And seeing these two also, this is short and this is long. Now, tell me when we will use all these topics like big, small, short, thin, fat, 
all these topics we will use when we are comparing when we are comparing not only the objects we can also compare the numbers comparing numbers before that how you all did that when we are comparing we need two or more than two objects with only one see if um, in my hand only one ball is there now can we say is this ball is big or small no we can't say why because we are having only one ball in the hand if i am taking two balls then only we can compare and we can say easily that this is small and this is big not only this objects and in the numbers also we can also compare by using two or more than two numbers before that we will compare the numbers with only single digit numbers you all remember no single digit number means 0 to 9 yes first before that we will take only two numbers any two 4 and 5 here i am writing 4 and here i am writing 5 how you can say that 4 is which is big one and which is small one see if you see this order no if you see this order we are having the order 0 1 2 3 4 like that it is going from small to big it is going from small to big first 0 0 means what nothing 0 means nothing and after that 1 we are adding one more number to it that is 1 what is the next one 2 how 2 will come 1 again 1 if we add the next number will come again the next number what 3 like that the number order is increasing right so that seeing these two numbers we can say that 4 is small and 5 is big for this what you will write 4 is small than 5 how you will write 4 is small than 5 but every time if I ask you to compare the numbers every time you cannot write 4 is small than 5 2 is small than uh, 7 like that we can't write no and, and also remember that it is math subject math subject means it is the learning of numbers and shapes and sizes main concept of concept of maths is only numbers so we can't write like this a sentence formation 4 is small than 5 to to avoid this we are having symbols we are having symbols what we what are those symbols you know greater than less than and equal to see this symbol is greater than this symbol is greater than. See, in this word itself, it is greater. Greater means what, children? Big. Big. And less than. Less means what? Small. So, seeing this, we can say that clearly when we will use these symbols. See, as I took before, the numbers 4 and 5. This as you told this 4 is small and 5 is big. So small means see this one is greater than symbol. And this is less than. This is equal. Equal means what? See here two balls are there. These two balls are in pink color and same size. So when you are taking these two balls we can say that clearly these two balls are equal so when the things are objects or numbers they, those are in same shape or size or uh, same objects we can use that equal but when we are comparing these two like uh, small and big that time we will use these kind of symbols greater than and less than <coughs> so four and five as i told four is a small one we are using less than we can think that why, t why we can use only less than we can't use greater. No, when we are comparing the two numbers, when the first number is small, when the first number is small, we need to use the less than, less, less than, uh, sorry, less than symbol. When the first number is big, then only we can use the greater than 
symbol. As I told, when we will use equal, if I am taking 6 and 6, if you see clearly, the 6 and 6 both are equal, no? That time only, we can use the equal to symbol. One more time, I will explain. When we are comparing the objects, as we are telling big, small, thin, fat and all, when we are comparing the numbers, we are having three symbols, three different symbols. First one is greater than. Greater than means greater itself, it, it is telling about the bigger one. And the second one is less than. Less than means it is telling about the small number. Equal to. Equal to. The word itself it is saying those two are equal. So when we will use greater than number, when we are comparing two numbers like this, 6 and 3, the first number is big. Then only we can use the greater than symbol. When we will use the less than, if the first number is small, if the first number is small, if you compare the 1 and 4, here 1 is small, that time we will use less than symbol. And equal to we will use when the two numbers are equal. When the two numbers are equal. Now, after comparing the numbers, one more topic we are learning is place values. One more topic we are learning is place values. Place values means what you know? See, from 0 to 9. When you are writing 0, 1, 2, 3, you all arranging all these numbers in a order, right? After 9, when you are writing 10, 11, 12, 13, why we need to write like this? Why we can't write like this? Here we are writing the 1 is that side and uh, 2 is this side like that. Why we can't write? No, we cannot write like this. We need to arrange these numbers in a proper uh, order by giving the place value. Place value means where the number is located means where the number is placing. That, that place we will call as place value. See these all 1 to 9 th those are in single line. So the all these numbers value is 1's place. All these numbers value is 1's place. Okay. After 9 what I told you 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 like that. Till 99. Till 99. 99 is the highest two digit number. 10 is the lowest first two digit number. And 99 is the highest two digit number. And how we will know the place values means these all the numbers starts with 1. That's why when all these numbers 1 to 9 when we are writing in the single line that place value is 1's place. Next place value how we will know? After 9 what is the number is coming? 10. This is the first two digit number right? So what is the first two digit number? That number will become into place value. So the next place value is 10's place. The next place value is 10's place. I told you 10, 11, 12, 13 like that till 99. After 99, there are no numbers? No, there are the numbers. After 99, we will get 100. We will get 100. See, if you observe the 100, in that, three digits are there. If you observe the 100, three digits are there. So, till here we wrote, till 99, we are having only two digit number. From 100, we are having three digits. So, this is the first three digit number. What is the first three digit number? 100 right so this will turn into the place value that is called hundreds place that is called hundreds place how we will know the place values are what is the first single number and what is the first two digit number and what is the first three digit number not only three digit after that also four digit five digit which whichever the number is coming first that number will turn into the place value of the particular digit numbers. Okay children, thank you.